okay so so uh, what i'll do i'll ignore some basic questions here almost although they will ask or start with you start with basic questions only ki jaise tell us about yourself or why do you want to do go for this course mujhe tum ye batao ki why uh, these days hospitals are or numbers of hospitals are rising in india well like like people are preferring more to go to hospitals in you know, the multi specialty hospitals than individual doctor screening and that's why uh, the number of hospitals are growing in even in uh, rural areas or uh, semi urban areas also so uh, there could be multiple reasons for the uh, for the increase in the number of hospitals in india because a uh, first first of uh, first reason could be the the economic growth of the country uh, that india is uh, india is emerging as uh, uh, as a new developing country uh, developing to becoming developed to developing uh, developed country and uh, uh, there are multiple uh, opportunities for the people and uh, many people are coming in the health inter entrepreneurship uh, sector like uh, they consider health as a uh, health has a uh, very broad scope uh, in terms of economy so one of the reason could be people trying to invest in the healthcare then another reason could be uh, from the point of view of patients like uh, uh, the patients uh, uh, the people uh, who who, uh, who try to seek the healthcare are more aware Uh, are more aware of their illness and ailments with the help of uh, globalization of course and the social media also so people are more aware of their own body and uh, therefore they are trying to seek he help uh, this could be the reason and uh, uh, also about the affordability also like people uh, like the uh, per capita income of our country is increasing so uh, people are going for the, people are ready to invest in their health they, they don't consider health as a cost it, it, they consider it as an investment for their uh, for their healthy future and uh, also so hmm, uh, i think i could i could recall only these points as per now but i guess there will be many such points like this मतलब थोड़ा आल्सो एडेड कि ब्रांडिंग फैक्टर भी है नाउ हॉस्पिटल्स आर बीइंग मोर फेमस लाइक मेदांता और अदर प्राइवेट हॉस्पिटल्स तो उनके ब्रांचेस ओपन करना और सरवाइव कराना रूरल एरिया में नॉट रूरल एरिया टायर थ्री सिटीज में इजी है क्योंकि लोग ब्रांड नेम से ज्यादा जा रहे हैं बिकॉज रदर देन द डॉक्टर्स नेम ठीक है एक ये भी रीजन हो सकता है और भी कई मल्टीपल रीजन हो सकते हैं जैसे लोगों का एक डर बना रहता है कि हम इस डॉक्टर के पास जाएं और फिर हम वहां से किसी डायग्नोस्टिक सेंटर के पास जाएं और फिर कुछ और निकले तो फिर किसी और डॉक्टर के पास जाएं तो ये जो इनफिशेंसी है उसको इराडिकेट करने के लिए भी लोग हॉस्पिटल जाना चाहते हैं मतलब मेरा तो पर्सनल इसी यही रीजन होता है कई बार हॉस्पिटल डायरेक्ट हॉस्पिटल जाने का और मुझे एक ये भी रीजन लगता है कि इवन दीज डेज डॉक्टर्स आर नॉट प्रेफरिंग Uh, to have a clinic क्योंकि उनको मतलब एक बड़ा सेटअप मिलता है तो दे गेट मोर रिकोगशन है ना एंड एंड दे डोंट हैव टू स्ट्रगल विथ नॉन मेडिसिन केयर फंक्शन ऑफ अ क्लिनिक मार्केटिंग करना है या फिर स्टाफ uh, मैनेज करना है तो इस वजह से भी डॉक्टर्स भी अच्छे डॉक्टर्स भी दे आर प्रेफरिंग हॉस्पिटल ठीक है So, and also the government is also supporting these uh, public private partnership this could be one of the reasons of the increase in hospitals in india so mujhe aap mujhe ye batao ki what are the negative or what are the cons uh, of rising number of hospitals what could be the uh, side effect or okay Uh, the rising number of uh, hospitals uh, can be seen as a challenge uh, uh, because because uh, for when the number of hospitals increases the 
the government has or has also been proactive in in, uh, in 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 taking care whether the hospitals are following the standard norms or not so uh, with the growing population of the healthcare uh, health hospitals in the country the government has also be uh, has to be also uh, strict enough to look for any miss happening in these areas so uh, okay the hospitals are increasing but the government should also matlab take care uh, that these hospitals are working in an efficient and in uh, effective manner and uh, this could be this could be a problem in the future like for example the recent uh, in delhi uh, the small hospitals and the nursing homes are often uh, they do, do not often follow the proper norms and guidelines and they result in a uh, lo loss of of the of the patients are dying because of this so this can be also seen as an disadvantage and uh, obviously the commercialization of the uh, hospitals like if the public hospitals are increasing in number that could be seen as an opportunity but when private hospitals are increasing that could be a concern because uh because of most of the private hospitals are uh leading towards gaining a uh a, a, a tag uh, a foreign or medical tourism tag like they are more most of the time they are uh, attracting the foreign foreign patients instead of catering to the rural and the underprivileged areas of the society they are more towards commercialization so they are only in only attracting the patients uh, who are in the top 1% of our countries who are wealthy enough at the top 1% of our uh, country's demographic and also the foreign patients so uh, this uh, this is one of the major challenge i guess uh, in the increasing number of hospitals in the country i was not asking about the challenges i was asking about what could be the side effects okay तो ध्यान रखो साइड इफेक्ट ये है कि भाई लोगों की कॉस्ट बढ़ जा रही है जो प्राइवेट क्लिनिक में जब जाते हैं तो वहाँ पे चूंकि सेटअप कॉस्ट ज्यादा नहीं होता डॉक्टर्स का और व्हेन यू गो टू दैट प्लेस तो हॉस्पिटल के रिस्पेक्ट में खर्च कम होता है तो ये साइड इफेक्ट है दूसरा ये है कि प्राइमरी हेल्थ सेंटर्स जो है वो उसकी जो मतलब इम्पोर्टेंस है वो कम होती जा रही है so many of the time with very uh, basic symptoms people are visiting hospitals so like your hospitals ko isse fayda hai but logo ko nahi hai na so ye sab cheeze mera social aspect mein bhi tumko batana hai to tum bata sakte ho theek hai aur ek 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 feeling of non getting treated well ka bhi ek hai ki jab aap dusre matlab hospital mein nahi ja ke aap kisi uh, क्लिनिक में जाते हो तो आपको ऐसा लगता है कि हम वेल ट्रीट नहीं हो पाएंगे तो ये ये सब चीजें जो है आपको पुश करती हैं टू गो टू हॉस्पिटल ओनली एंड दूसरा ओवर कॉम्पिटेटिव मार्केट अगर हो जाएगा तो उसकी मैल प्रैक्टिस भी बढ़ेंगी है ना तो दे विल बी प्रो प्रोमोटर्स नॉट प्रो पेशेंट तो इससे भी ये भी एक तरह का साइड इफेक्ट है Okay, so you have worked in hospital for around six years as a physiotherapist. Okay, and uh, <clears throat> can you tell me uh, what should be the ratio of physiotherapist to the population? Like, like uh, for doctors, we say that uh, there should be one doctor for one thousand people. What should be the ratio for physiotherapist in that regard? If there is a standard data for this, you can tell me that also. and if there is not you can give me a give me an estimate with a, with an rationality with a rational but what should be the ratio so uh, as per my experience uh, because i have worked in a tertiary level uh, of setup i haven't worked in a primary level of setup and physiotherapy uh, till now has not been introduced at the grassroots level at the primary level so it is very difficult for me right now to estimate the 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 population versus to the physiotherapist ratio for a general population but i can but, but uh, while working in the hospital i can make an estimate because my hospital was a 160 bedded hospital and we were 
eight physiotherapists catering to these 160 people. So, uh, so the ratio obviously becomes one is to uh, 20. So, uh, so we are providing number of physiotherapists is to patient. Yes, sir. Uh, so, number you can extrapolate this data for a population also. Like, like uh, uh, how many people or how many percentage of people or how many part of people gets hospitalized yes, out of 1,000 or 10,000. So, with that, you can get the estimate. Or, or there, are, there could be other way also. This is the question for analytical ability. Ke liye hai. So, yes, tum, tum, to approach is also okay. You can do another way. Like, this is the disease like this, or this is the disease like this, where a physiotherapist needs intervention. So, you can see that, for example, in 1,000 population, mein, मान लो कि 15 लोग ऐसे हैं जो इसमें सफर कर रहे हैं या इससे सफर कर रहे हैं तो आउट ऑफ 15 उनकी डेली नीड जो है 30 आवर्स की है तो 30 आवर्स के हिसाब से अगर एक फिजियोथेरेपी का 6 आवर डाल दे तो पांच फिजियोथेरेपिस्ट की जरूरत पड़ेगी मतलब इस तरह का कुछ एस्टीमेट आप बता सकते हो है ना एंड एंड आई एम वेरी मच अमेज दैट देयर इज नो डेटा सच डेटा अवेलेबल दैट हाउ मच फिजियोथेरेपिस्ट आर नीडेड for a population of like 10 lakh or for a population of any amount. So, as a data of the Q, what, what is the reason? So, WHO has uh, data of the other countries like Armenia, Belgium, etc. The, the, the uh, organization must have data that how much physiotherapists are there. Yes, no? but, but is there any data which says how much physiotherapists should be there? No, sir. No. There is no goal or target yet uh, established as per the international term okay so now tell me that uh, uh, in your opinion or in your observation what could be the uh, potential of your stream like not uh, mha the stream where we were working and uh, what could be the potential of uh, uh, this stream as an uh, economic center for india Yes, sir. There could be multiple potentials. Uh, I would like to start with the sports, like uh, the sports physiotherapists are required for, uh, for, uh, for obviously improving the country's uh, youth and young people who are emerging in the in the various sports like national games and also the Olympics who are representing India. So, uh, so the, this uh, there is obviously an economic the economic benefit if the people are healthy they are participating more their injuries are uh, early diagnosed and the treatment is personalized so if that is one area then secondly it will improve the productivity obviously people in india uh, people, or in any country of the world they are mostly suffering from the chronic pain disorders like low back ache neck pain or a, maybe uh, these could be idiopathic without any reason or these could be related to some serious ailments or any infection that happened before. So people are living with the pain and the quality of life is very bad for the people. So uh, this uh, by physiotherapy, we can increase the uh, quality of the people and uh, this will further enhance the productivity. And as a human, he will be able to contribute more towards the society and towards the country. And obviously, the economic in economic terms also, the, uh, the, the society and country could be benefited in a way. Okay. So, so uh, uh, there's one more point that I'll add here, not with respect to economics, boost. Or I'll, uh, I'm also asking a question with respect to this. So like like in uh, uh, medicine, we are trying to uh, adopt traditional medicine systems or uh, non uh, like parallel medicine systems like homeopathy and Ayurveda to allopathy. So should we also add anything from traditional practice in terms of physiotherapy to the discipline of physiotherapy? Should we also add or are we, uh, have we added, have we added anything to physiotherapy from our traditional practice? Like we have seen that there are uh, Pahalwans who are uh, making the, or treating people with uh, such uh, bone-based disorder, muscle-based disorders. So are they scientific or can they be added to your stream? Yes, sir. 
without paying any disrespect for any community or any any uh, set of people or society who practice this thing i i would i i totally respect them but i believe that these traditional practices lack certain kind of research and they are not scientific enough uh, because uh, because and also the accountability factor is there like if uh, the pehlwans and the, and those and those uh, people who practice these type of traditional practices do something uh, or maybe accidentally kill someone or cause a permanent disability in somebody so that will create a real issue so physiotherapist being a physiotherapist what separates them from a physiotherapist is that the physiotherapist is well qualified enough and uh, very accountable and uh, obviously scientific and medical uh, things are there so uh, i would not recommend those uh, practices to be integrated into our society into the mainstream because that could be uh, that could be putting our people at risk okay in matlab you know you don't want to add okay but i got your point so without so disrespecting that, anybody here okay okay that's fine just to give you the data uh, in india 0.59 physiotherapists for every 10000 populace this is data which is available on website i don't think it's a very not available from reliable source yes i also read the this article so the question for you is next question is what are the research current research uh, what are the current research which is going in in your field of physiotherapy yes sir uh, so with the growing advancement uh, the various kind of uh, uh, tech uh, the research is being conducted is related to the uh, uh, the, uh, the introduction of the new exercises protocols and uh, uh, the new exercises protocols and and also i i have also recently noticed that the trend of using the modalities like ultrasound therapy and electrotherapy has been decreased over the past few years and more focus is towards integrating people into the uh, uh, into the in, i'm sorry chalo isko pad lena matlab i'll read i'll read पर 0.47 मेडिकल टूरिज्म विच इज है इन इंडिया वी आर फाइंडिंग इट एज इट एज अ पोटेंशियल कंट्रीब्यूटर फॉर export like it's kind of export only so so how physiotherapy can be a part of it yes sir uh, as per my experience uh, uh, i have seen the uh, patients who who are who are coming from abroad and getting treatment in the south delhi areas and also in the gurgaon area so the people are living here because the government provides six months visa for uh, for the uh, medical tourism and many of the uh, diseases or the ailments and the sur- even the post operative surgeries required intensive physiotherapy after the surgery for example uh, the knee, uh, most of uh, most of the patients i have seen are of the knee uh, transplantation and uh, the hip replacement and knee replacement surgery so they require extensive physiotherapy so uh yes uh, i even i am also benefited by uh, the medical tourism on a personal way saying about it uh and yes uh, uh, obviously if i am as a physiotherapist earning more the this is also helping the physiotherapy community uh, at a at a, a larger level okay so last question for you uh 
matter like you are a well trained professional and you have also worked for uh, same profession for last 6 years and you have been working in a good hospital also so why are you looking for a degree in hospital administration and why what do you want to do ahead in your life Okay. So, uh, being a physiotherapist has uh, provided me the uh, uh, provided me with great skills. Obviously, the foundation skills in healthcare. I can understand about the healthcare system and more. So, when I was introduced into this field, I initially worked as a physiotherapist, but later on, my interest gradually changed. And obviously, I have uh, some great mentors in my in my last uh, organization. Who who actually helped me to integrate into the management field? Like they always pushed me to get into such kind of activities which are non-clinical related. So uh so working at uh working at an atmosphere where uh where you are exposed to the management uh related activities really kind of uh, uh pulls me pulls my interest towards it. And uh, uh, obviously I will continue to serve uh. uh even if i get admission into the mh i will i will learn about all the management in in depth i will gain in depth knowledge about it and i will also simultaneously contribute towards my a physiotherapy field also because uh, while in the hospital i have to thoda sa aur acha kar do ek to ye rakho ki leadership role ab tumhe chahiye not just okay. to manage a hospital but to bring good practices to it which we have been ignoring ना ना एंड एंड एज एन एग्जांपल तुम ये भी कह सकते हो कि बहुत सारे हॉस्पिटल्स आर नॉट कीपिंग फिजियोथेरेपी एज एन मेन स्ट्रीम सर्विस डिलीवरी ये तो एक तो ये भी होगा सेकंड यू राइटली सेड दैट यू विल बी प्रैक्टिसिंग फिजियोथेरेपी एज ऑलवेज बिकॉज इट्स अ प्रोफेशन यू हैव लर्नड इट वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू फॉरगेट इट एंड यू विल कीप ऑन डूइंग स्टडीज एंड लर्निंग एंड प्रैक्टिसिंग दैट है ना अलोंग विद दैट और दूसरा ये कह सकते हो कि जो तुमने बताया कि इंटरेस्ट डेवलप हुआ सो इट हैज अ कम्प्लेक्सिटी सर्टेन लेवल ऑफ कम्प्लेक्सिटी एंड मैनेजमेंट डिसीजन मेकिंग सिचुएशंस व्हिच रिक्वायर्स अ गुड ट्रेनिंग सो दैट आई नीड टू हैव फ्रॉम एम एच डिग्री ठीक है तो थोड़ा ऐसे करके थोड़ा और लाइन करना पड़ेगा पर अब देखो समय क्या हो रहा है ना कि इंटरव्यू तुम्हारा ठीक हो रहा है बट वो बिल्कुल स्ट्रक्चर्ड नहीं हो पा रहा है कभी कभी छूट जा रहा है तुम्हारा कुछ है ना या कभी कभी आ, मुझे लगता है कि कई बार तुम्हें अगर जरूरत पड़े ना तो हिंदी बोल सकती हो है ना वो कई बार मुझे लगता है कि इट्स नॉट इन इन योर प्रॉब्लम विथ योर कम्युनिकेशन बट समाइम्स आई थिंक बिकॉज इंग्लिश इज नॉट आवर मदर टंग तो हम उसमें कई बार क्या होते हैं कि लैक कर देते हैं या फिर मतलब इन्फॉर्मेशन डम्प हो जाती है अपने आप तो वो ना हो इस पर हमें ध्यान रखना है ठीक है और और तुम्हें ये भी बोला था कि व्हाट विल बी डूइंग अहेड इन योर लाइफ तुम वो आगे वाली बात बताओ ना कि लॉन्ग टर्म में वुड लाइक टू ओपन अ जिम व्हिच आर बेस्ड ऑन मतलब होता है ना फिजियोथेरेपी के प्रिंसिपल पे बेस्ड हो या फिर इस तरह से ये भी तुम बता सकती हो ठीक है चलो